Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the JV hey. and Millie channel and we're continuing to play through this amazing DLC. It's been absolutely incredible thus far. So if you want to check out our playlist of these videos, please do. But right now we found this little cute who's wanting to get a bit of an arcade holiday home. So we're kind of getting lots of fun vibes here. So I think ultimately it's just going to make a really, really nice house. Now, if you want to know how to invite your own villagers, we did that in the last video. So you can go back and check out how to do that. And also, you know, moving forward, we're hoping to unlock the amiibo functionality and start making homes for some other villagers as well. So that'll be absolutely amazing. Okay, uh-huh, this is neat. So I was thinking it'd be nice if my vacation home was kind of like this. Okay, so very kind of, like we said, arcade-y. Mm -hmm. Nice concept. We're going to choose a little island for them, so... It's kind of thinking. That's quite sweet. Like they're quite arcadey, right? So I feel like that is quite fitting because when they get outside, they've also got like the waterfall, so it's like opposite, so they can escape from the arcades if they want to sometimes. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. Claude. Or Cloud. Claude. This is amazing. I am loving this DLC so much. So again, you kind of have the barriers and stuff that they kind of put in place and then we can decorate the garden how we want and that kind of thing. Home game holiday. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, look at the game chair. Oh, wow. I feel like this is going to be a fun one today. So we're going to leave it as summer, I think. Just because I think the grass looks quite fresh and all that kind of thing. I don't know what to, like, what concepts to come up with that. A part of me is like, you should almost make it built up, but kind of green at the same time. Because he said it, they want it to be like a hideaway or a getaway. So they clearly want like privacy to do the gaming. But yeah. I don't know. I think what I'm kind of thinking is almost like a young vibe to it. Like arcade, playground, games. Just that kind of fun style of stuff. I feel like, yeah, I just feel like it's a good way to go. Yeah, I mean, it looks fun. Definitely a bit of a difference to what we did last time. It certainly is. I'm sorry, I can't like doing these, like, you know, like the checkered paths? Yeah. I got scared then, just hearing the sound of them like go down with like the TV volume down. I thought there were fireworks outside. Oh gosh, yeah. It did sound that way. I can't unhear that now, that's a bit kooky. Ooh. You have got really good with these designs. I'm <laughs> trying. Like I said, I think my key focus is just going to be like nice, youthful, fun. So not too much of this looks like it can be used outside, really. I mean, there's no limits, really. They could have like an outdoor area or 
an outdoor diner? Because diners are quite renowned for having arcades, aren't they? I want to say. They are, that's true. I don't know, I'm just not getting like outdoor vibes from any of the furniture that we get given. I guess benches and things are always kind of outdoorsy. Let's go down this again. So. We're going to go with blue, I think. Hoping my ideas start to come down a little bit. I feel like some of these customizations in themselves are new as well. Yeah, I think I'd agree with you. Ooh, Maybe a little... topiary. Yeah, it's what fun. could that be customized as though? Well, that's fair. Ooh. That's gonna be great if someone's doing like a hay maze. Some bikes, yeah. That's great. It's almost reminding me of how like the media tends to depict like working in Google or Google offices. Just kind of modern, colourful, but like also technological. Yeah, it's just about fun, I think. Yeah. Like with this topic at least anyway. So let's put like let's say this is almost like a mailbox here. They can leave the bike near the house. So we'll remove that. And then I want to put that there so it looks a bit like a letterbox, I think. Then, like you said, the topiary, because I think that's quite cute. Or maybe put one at either side. Take a look at some plants. Let's get some trees. It'd be cool if you could get like a rotation wheel for some of these. You know, like to be able to drag it at 360 and then just stop yeah. it wherever you want to. Hmm, I'm liking this. Do you know if these hydranga, hydranga are usually in season in the summer? I don't know, no, sorry. Because I am curious about if we'll be impacted by seasons. I don't think you are because it gives us the full variety. Yeah, but at the same time we can change the season. That's true. So I don't know if it's like we put the holly down, it's not good, we change it to winter and it's good, I don't know. Okay, 
Okay, so, so far this is striking me as a relatively fun garden. Maybe not the most fun, but certainly fun. I want to unlock some of those, like, Ferris wheel items for her. Okay, a little bit of a JB Millie throwback. Um, just because we used to sit outside on our switch in the summer at the garden table. I feel like it gives them something to do. Yeah, I like that. It reminds me of how my first house was set up, like, then they gruffed to the other side of the waterfall. Yeah. I like this, the topiary does actually make a really nice entrance. Oh, I think I've still got my Halloween eyes, you know. I don't think I ever changed them back. Oh no, I'm sorry. Ooh. I want to win a teddy. Okay, let's see how fun we can make this look inside. Do you reckon one of those would be fun in real life though? Because it's like they kind of technically already own the teddies, but they're not able to play with them. Well, I'd be a bit upset if all our teddies just went in a little machine like that, even if we owned the machine. Oh, I like that floor. Well, oh, that's like a gym, almost like a techno room. Okay, we'll go with this one because it just looked the most fun, I think. I forget when they introduced that. It was either for New Year's or that prom event. I think it was prom. No, oh, that makes me sad. I'm sorry. I remember trying to reach out to the group that were organising the Animal Crossing prom party. And they got back to me, but then it kind of never like went into fruition. It's kind of sad because I, I felt like that would have been a pretty decent episode of the podcast. You're right, it is a shame. Look at these new items though, that um, monitor. I remember that's like really standing out to a lot of content creators in the trailer. Yeah. And I guess we thought that it'd be cute because it was like a dream thing, but I'm sure if some of the content creator friends that we have like saw our setup, they'd be a bit like, what are you doing? We very much have a rudimentary setup here. So we've got the microphone on a chair. The laptop is on top of the bin. It's it, it's not the best, we but it works. We make do with what we have. Yeah. I feel like when we get a place, it's just going to be so much easier and cleaner to make content. Yeah, like, when we've been talking about getting our place, like, we've been... I want to say almost budgeting for a spare room that's just gonna be because my parents like have been like oh it's great you know when you get a house we're gonna be able to come over and stay because you've got a spare room and jb and i've been sat here going they ain't staying like that that's gonna be our recording studio <laughs> they hope they know this <laughs> i'm gonna have to tell them at some point maybe maybe or maybe they can record with us who knows oh is that a bed yeah I'm starting to think maybe they don't need a bed. Oh, no. Maybe it just needs to be like all about the fun. You can have fun in bed. Oh, do they need some of that bunting stuff? Oh, do we get to unlock that teddy machine? I want it. Um, we've got a gumball machine. Okay. That's quite easy to walk around, right? That's nice.
Now I'm hoping we can revisit this once we unlock kind of more space. Yeah. Home game hideaway. I wonder if they'd want a little switch light in here, I don't know. It's hopefully one of the things I can ascertain. So the reason that I wanted to do the TV in that corner there is because I saw this cute little like popcorn snack thing so it's like oh my goodness that's perfect. And then like JB said it could just be really cool for them to have a switch set up near the TV as well. So I think that does it for this one right? It seems so. I'd be happy with it. Definitely encapsulates the gaming aspect. Okay, so with that in mind, it's just time to get a photo. Now, like I said, I think we do end up revisiting all these um, homes purely based on the fact that we start to unlock larger rooms, new items, and, you know, we've been encouraged to revisit them before. So, with that in mind, I'm kind of thinking that it's not going to be too long before we get to come back. I like I've pressed on the border, I didn't mean to. Okay, so I'm going to try and line up a good picture. It's kind of difficult with all the different angles, but let's hope that works. Hey JV, I think it's ready, so let's let them enjoy it. Oh, Nico. <gasps> Is this the scrub? Oh no, that's the little clipboard. No, oh, thank you. Oh Yay, we're gonna do this. That's amazing. That's amazing. So do you need to just keep mashing in until it does it on its own? I assume so, unless some things just don't sparkle. I guess that might be one of the ones that doesn't. Let's try this. I guess our safest bet would be one of the mandatory items. Because you'd assume that if they were going to introduce mandatory items at the same time as, you know, us doing this, then that those would be purposely made ones that do spark. Or at least one of them. Maybe we 
they just haven't added any other ones. I know we've seen in the trailer that things like the, um, like plants and things do. Oh look, that one's shining on its own now. Oh. I don't quite know what it did, but it's like working. We're getting that sparkle effect. That's really cool. Okay, I'm really excited to see their reactions at the end. It's really cool to see them interacting. Oh, we might get to see them play the little bear machine. Let's hope. You ready? I'm ready. Home game hideaway. could live there. Me too. I'd have to sleep on the sofa, but I could live there. I'd sleep in the machine with the teddies. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. How'd things go? Pretty used to work right now, right? It's payday again. 6,000 pokey. Yay. Woo. Mm. Your hard work you've been putting in. You're such a big help. That said, it's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard, so it's break time. <laughs> Okay. I wonder if there's a reason they want us to walk around the island, if there's something that we can find. Maybe we should go around and see. Mm hmm Definitely. So I guess if you haven't got the DLC yourself or haven't played on the DLC yet, then this is the island. Ooh, they're new. Hey. Vivian. Are we climbing up those vines as well? Yeah, I feel like this is going to be the first time we climb the vines. That little kind of... Oh, I don't want to call it a cave. I don't know what it is. This looks cool. These are the people that live here already. It's like an arch, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's try climbing these. Whoa. Wow. Gonna point the stars, there's already a ladder there, but maybe that'll be useful later down the line. I wanna see if I can pick these up. No. They're so cool. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is where they ask us to make the school. The unused properties, yeah. Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island. They built all of these, but it didn't work out. I guess they just left the properties like this. I wonder if this is going to factor into a story. And even more to offer our clients. I, or the next game in the series might be a prequel. Like Their DLC might be a prequel yeah. to this. That would be cool. Wow. That would be really good meta though, like imagine if this was Nintendo's concept for New Horizons, literally island life, like the school and stuff, but that didn't work out the way they wanted it to, so therefore th this is their development of that. I don't know, it'd be fun, it'd be fun. It'll be really amazing. Oh, so there's still so much to do, it's so exciting, and I just love looking at the stars there too, that's so nice. It's away from the pollution of Melitopia now. It is. How is it that the deserted islands become overrun and now this is the good place? 
It's just headspace, really, isn't it? It's I mad. feel happy. I feel nice. Anyway, this is proven to be so much fun. We're really excited to keep playing the DLC, so stick around for that playthrough. So yeah, for all that information on Animal Crossing, the DLC, the new free update, and so, so much more, please like, comment, and subscribe. JBN Miller.